serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? Why behold, I send to you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify. And some, and some of them, them shall be whipped in your synagogues, and, and persecute them from city to city, that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth. This is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank the Lord. Brothers and sisters, when the Lord Jesus came to do his work, he expressed many truths, revealed many signs and wonders. However, the chief priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees of the Jewish faith didn't know the Lord. They knew the words and work of the Lord Jesus were powerful. And yet they spread rumors, condemning and blaspheming the Lord claiming he relied on Beelzebub to cast out demons. When more people had begun following the Lord Jesus, it threatened their positions. So they planned to get rid of him. The Pharisees are so hateful. Unexpectedly, they partnered with the Roman government to nail the Lord Jesus to the cross. Wouldn't you say that the Pharisees were detestable? Yes. yes. I agree. Oh, I know this to be true. Of course. Yes. These hypocritical Pharisees served God, yet resisted God. Shouldn't they suffer God's curse? They should. They should. Of course. This is exactly if we'd been born when the Lord Jesus was doing his work, we certainly would be his followers, and we wouldn't be like the Pharisees nailing the Lord Jesus to the cross. That's right. Pastor Gu, we've accepted the Lord Jesus, so we aren't Pharisees, right? Of course not. Only the old leaders in the Jewish faith who resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus are Pharisees. Yes. yes. We're different. We've all accepted the name of the Lord, baptized into faith, and we received salvation by his grace. So we are not Pharisees. Oh, that makes sense. I, I see now. Pastor Gu. I do. It's not that simple. It's just not that simple. If believers... And the Lord could become Pharisees. See, in Revelation in the Bible, there are a lot of prophecies that say, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. Based on this, I think that the Lord will return in the last days to utter more words. The Lord Jesus once said, My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. If the Lord returns in the last days, and we condemn and resist him, wouldn't we also become Pharisees? Let's really give some serious thought to this question that Brother Zen raised. Yeah, this question is worth looking into. Brother Zen, you believe the Lord will return to utter more words. So you're concerned about whether or not we'll be just like the Pharisees and not recognize him. And maybe even resist and condemn the Lord, correct? Yes. You do not need to worry. The Lord Jesus said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. It's clear. The Lord Jesus' departure was to prepare a place for us, and the return of the Lord will be to raise us into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. How could it be that he would return and speak more? Yes. yes. Oh, true. In addition, when the Lord comes, he will descend upon a cloud and appear to all of mankind, so who could not recognize him? Yes. Yes. How can you still not understand this? Yes, Pastor Gu is right. See, we've all believed in the Lord for a number of years, 
and worked very hard for him. When he returns, we will directly be raised up into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. There's absolutely no need to consider whether or not we'll be able to recognize him or whether or not we'll be Pharisees. These things aren't even worth considering. Yeah, we don't need to consider that. Yes. Brothers and sisters, we're already in the last days and the prophecies of the Lord's return have basically been fulfilled. So the Lord Jesus will descend upon a cloud at any moment to raise us up into God's Amen. kingdom. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be to God. That's about God's kingdom. Uh -huh. Glorious. At this critical moment, we must keep watch and pray, work harder for the Lord, and be his dedicated servants. Amen. Amen. Right. 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 And when the Lord returns, we'll be rewarded and raised up into God's kingdom. Amen. 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 As Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I, I have, have kept, kept the faith. faith. From, From now, now on, on, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. righteousness. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Oh, uh, yeah. Amen. Thank the Lord. I've served the Lord for decades and I've suffered no small amount. Particularly when I was imprisoned for the sake of the Lord for more than 10 years. At that time, the CCP police would often try to force me to sign written repentances, but I wouldn't do it. I couldn't betray the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. As a result, they tortured me very cruelly putting me on the brink of death. The CCP prisons really are a living hell. Without the care and protection of the Lord, I'm afraid I would have died in prison long ago. Yes, yes. The faith of Pastor Gu is great. It is. This really is the protection of the Lord. It really is so. But you see, I don't have any regrets or complaints about my suffering for the Lord. This was his grace, and it was his blessing for me. Amen. And that God. is because the more we suffer for the Lord, the greater our reward will be. Amen. Amen. And just like Paul, we may gain a crown of righteousness bestowed by the Lord. Amen. Amen. Would everyone say that's true? It is. It is. It's so true. That's right. This is true. Yes. The witness of Pastor Goo is very good. So true. Pastor Goo has suffered so much, he'll surely receive great rewards. Yeah, huh? Pastor Goo really is a dedicated servant to the Lord. We must follow his example. Thanks be to the Lord. Pastor Goo has led us to believe in the Lord. This truly is our it good is. fortune. We are so fortunate. Thanks be to the Lord. Thanks be to God. Why do you think Pastor Gu talks about those experiences every day? I'm sick of hearing about them. Pastor Gu always talks about what he suffered. Yeah. Why doesn't he share his experiences of putting the Lord's words into practice? Yeah. I've been wondering a lot lately. If someone suffers, is that enough to guarantee that they will enter the kingdom of heaven at the Lord's return?
Hey, why do you think there are so many people now who have accepted Eastern Lightning? It's true. So many people have accepted Eastern Lightning. What do you think that's really about? I really can't make heads or tails of it. Yes. We've been waiting for the return of the Lord, but we haven't seen the Lord descending upon a cloud. Yeah. But Eastern Lightning has appeared. They say the Lord Jesus has already returned and that he is Almighty God incarnate. This is truly beyond our imaginings. Yes, it really is. The appearance of this Eastern Lightning has shaken up the entire religious world. And in every denomination, in every sect, there have been many who've accepted Eastern Lightning after hearing the words of Almighty God. They all bear witness, saying they heard the voice of God and had been raptured a lot of pastors and elders have started to condemn Eastern Lightning. They are trying to seal off and control the church. Even the CCP is arresting people from Eastern Lightning. But not only has Eastern Lightning not been defeated, but it has flourished. In my heart, I feel Eastern Lightning may have the work of the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Brother Shen, this reminds me of what the Lord Jesus prophesied. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Do you think the appearance of eastern lightning has to do with this prophecy of the Lord Jesus? Hmm, I really haven't thought about that. Could Eastern Lightning really be the appearance and the work of the Lord Jesus? Hmm. We have to think about this carefully. Eastern Lightning says the Lord Jesus has returned and that he is the Almighty God incarnate. That's absolutely impossible. The Lord Jesus specifically prophesied and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So, I am certain when the Lord God returns, he will descend upon a cloud and all will see him. If Eastern Lightning says the Lord has returned, how have we not seen him? That's right. So I'm certain all those who bear witness to the arrival of God incarnate of the last days are fraudulent. They're heretics. Amen. I tell you, we must not believe them. Pastor Gu, that can't be right. If Eastern Lightning doesn't possess the truth, if it's not the work and appearance of the Lord, how could it conquer so many good sheep, yeah, leading sheep? That's what I was thinking too. I've been thinking about this constantly. I think it's quite possible that Eastern Lightning is the work and appearance of the Lord Jesus. We should seek and study it. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. We should wait for the coming of the Lord, according to the Bible. Eastern Lightning says the Lord Jesus has already returned, has expressed many truths, and has done the work of judgment of the last days. What was prophesied in the Bible? Why haven't I seen it? I dare say, Eastern Lightning cannot possibly be the work of the Lord. We should firmly believe that God's words and work are all within the Bible. And anything beyond that is heresy. Amen. Eastern Lightning is stealing sheep all over the place now. So, we must be vigilant and strictly guard against them. Hmm. We must strictly guard against them. Has anyone from our church accepted Eastern Lightning recently?
Mm, not right now. Yeah, not that I know of. Yeah, that's good. Thanks be to the Lord. Pastor Gu, I have bad news. What is it? Tell me slowly. Brother Yang from Chengbei Church led over 30 brothers and sisters to accept Eastern Lightning. What? Brother Yang understands the Bible so well. It doesn't make any sense. How could he believe in Eastern Lightning? That's right. If Brother Yang can accept Eastern Lightning, this is no simple matter. Oh, he certainly only accepted it after examining it repeatedly. The preaching of this Eastern Lightning must really be formidable. Uh, Pastor Gu, what do you say we should do now? Don't worry. We need to think of a solution. I've got it. Elder Wang, hurry up and take a few co-workers to Chengbai Church. And no matter what, you must persuade them to come back. Okay, I'll go now. Let's go. Oh, wait. They certainly have copies of Eastern Lightning's book. You have to confiscate them all and oust anyone who won't cooperate. Okay, got it. Let's go. Brother Liu, let's go. We're going to Yang Mingen's home. Okay. I've learned so much during these few days. Yes. Thanks be to Almighty God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to Let's God. all continue. Okay. 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 That sounds like it's someone from our church. I'll go take a look. Who would come so late? Yes. Oh. Pastor Gu, Brother Liu, you've it's come. It's so late. Why are they here? Everyone is here. Oh, Pastor Gu, Brother Liu, you're here. Hmm. You are all important co-workers of the church. How could you accept Eastern Lightning? Uh, come on, let's sit down and chat. Come on, sit down. The let's have a chat. Here, Pastor 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 Brothers and sisters, if Eastern Lightning were the true way, wouldn't Pastor Gu have accepted it long ago? Could you really have better judgment than Pastor Gu? Come on, have some water. Have some water first. Pastor Gu, Brother Liu. Um, over this period, we've heard the witness of people from the Church of Almighty God, and we've read quite a bit of the words of Almighty God. We've discovered the words of Almighty God are all truth, and they reveal many mysteries. Right, right. this, this is, true. is true. I feel that I've gained. A great deal. That's right. That's right. We've understood many truths that we never could understand from the Bible. Mm. Mm. I know in my heart, the words of Almighty God are the voice of God. Amen. Amen. And Almighty God is the return of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Pastor Gu, it's perfect that the two of you have come today. Let's commune together. That's, That's right. right. Please, Please, join, Please us. join us. Yes. Brother Yang. You've served the Lord for years, and you understand the Bible. I never thought you would accept Eastern Lightning. The Lord Jesus clearly stated that when he returned, he would descend on a white cloud and rapture believers. If the Lord had truly returned, why haven't we been raptured? That's right. Their witness is clearly not in line with the prophecies of Lord Jesus. This proves that Eastern Lightning cannot possibly be the work of the appearance of the Lord Jesus. You really still don't see that? I advise you to give up Eastern Lightning. Confess your sins and repent. Yeah, if the Lord Jesus had already returned, then why haven't we all been raptured? Who? has seen the Lord Jesus descending upon a white cloud. And who has been raptured up into the clouds into the sky? No one has. So that proves that the Lord Jesus has not returned. Isn't this clear? Pastor Gu, Brother Liu, 
There are many prophecies in the Bible about the return of the Lord Jesus. Why do you only hold on to the prophecy of the Lord descending on a cloud, but you don't look at his other prophecies? That's right. The Lord Jesus also said, Behold, I come as a thief. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief, and you shall not know what hour I will come on you. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes. Yes. Go you out to meet him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. Amen. Pastor Gu, according to the prophecies of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will secretly descend to the earth in the last days and utter words. Only those who hear God's voice and go out to welcome Him will be the wise virgins. Mm -hmm. Only they will be raptured in front of God's throne and will feast with the Lord. Amen. Pastor Gu, you've certainly read these prophecies of the Lord coming in secret many times. Why are you picking and choosing the words of the Lord? Why do you say anyone who isn't the Lord Jesus descending on a cloud is a false Christ? You do not seek to hear the voice of God. And even though there are people who bear witness that the Lord Jesus has returned in utter words, you don't seek or examine it. Isn't this becoming a foolish virgin? Is waiting for the coming of the Lord this way in line with His will? Hey, Brother Yang, what do you mean by that, huh? Ah, uh, you mean that we're foolish virgins? Hey, Brother Liu, have a seat. Let Brother Yang continue. Yes, yes, yes. Have, have, a have a seat. God has become flesh in the last days expressed the truth and done his work of judgment beginning with the house of God. Many people from every denomination longing for the appearance of God have read the words of Almighty God and have all recognized God's voice. Thus, they've all accepted the work of Almighty God in the last days. These people are wise virgins and they've been raised up in front of God's throne, Amen. feasting with the Lord. They will be made overcomers by God before the calamity. Yes, yes. God. Pastor Gu, Brother Liu, come read the words of Almighty God and study His work in the last days. Yes, yes. Study, study it. I study it. That's right. You can only know if Almighty God is the return of the Lord Jesus by reading the words of Almighty God. Right. right. Brother Yang, you say that when the Lord returns, He will descend in secret and then descend in public upon a cloud. This is in line with the Bible. But Eastern Lightning bears witness to the work of the Lord who has come in secret, which I have not seen. All I have seen is that pastors and elders from the religious world have condemned Eastern Lightning. This shows that Eastern Lightning can't possibly be the work of the appearance of the Lord Jesus. Yes. If the Lord truly had returned, how could the pastors and elders of the religious world not know? That's right. Just think. They all are servants of the Lord. Would the Lord, in his wisdom, really cast aside all those pastors and elders? I do not think that is possible. So we will wait for the Lord to descend in a cloud and rapture us into the kingdom of heaven. That certainly cannot fail. Amen. I advise you to repent to the Lord so that he won't cast you out. Yes. Pastor Gu, when the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, who was it that resisted and condemned him and nailed him to the cross? Wasn't it the chief priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees of the That's Jewish right. faith? That's right. This is certainly worth considering. We can't take the path of the Pharisees. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Pastor Gu. If you don't examine Eastern Lightning and follow the religious world in resisting and condemning it, this is an offense to God. 
Yes, Pastor Gu. Why don't you first read a bit of the words of Almighty God? See if his words are the truth or not, if it's God's voice or not, and then express your opinion. Only thus will you receive protection and not offend God. Yes. Yes. You should examine it. Don't just carelessly condemn it. If you nail God to the cross again, that would be a great sin. That's true. Yes. The That's Lord's true. words are all in the Bible. That's right. Brothers and sisters, we've believed in the Lord for so long. Their witness of Almighty God is in line with the prophecies of the Bible. Is he actually the appearance of the Lord Jesus? I, I don't think that's possible. But what if he truly is the appearance of the Lord Jesus? Should I accept him? Or not? Hmm. I can't. If I accept, the church would certainly expel me. And then I couldn't be a pastor anymore. Then my position, my living, would be gone, and the religious world, and the religious world would also reject me. Wouldn't all these years of believing in the Lord have been in vain? Being a pastor and having a position is great. There's no need to look into Eastern Lightning. I never thought that Yang McGann and the others would be so resolute after accepting Eastern Lightning for just a couple of days. No matter what I say, I can't get them to change their minds. Their words are all logical. It truly has a basis. What they say is in line with the Bible. And there's really no way to refute it. Recently, I went to Chengbei Church a few more times. I advised them to give up Eastern Lightning and return soon. But no one listened to me. Oh. And their rebuttals even left me speechless. From now on, I'll really be experienced. Once anyone accepts Eastern Lightning and has read the book, The Word Appears in the Flesh, they couldn't be pulled back even by ten oxen. Ah, this Eastern Lightning really is formidable. It is. It hasn't been that long. And look, more than a hundred people have accepted Eastern Lightning. If things continue like this, it won't take long before all our good sheep in our church have been stolen by them. We must think of a solution soon. We have yes. to find a way out. I really don't get it. Every time we preach, we talk about how to resist Eastern Lightning. But why can't we keep our brothers and sisters from accepting it? Yeah. There's the saying, know the enemy, and know yourself, and you can win a hundred battles. This is an Eastern Lightning book confiscated from brothers and sisters. We must really delve into this book. The word appears in the flesh. We need to find holes in these words, and then condemn it based on the words in the Bible. This way, we can refute Eastern Lightning, rescue our brothers and sisters, and keep the church alive. Pastor Gu has a solution. Yes, that's a great solution. Yes, 
It seems that we really have to put effort into studying Eastern Lightning. Hmm. Come, let's listen carefully. Okay. I shall let all who are searching see the light again and see the glory I had in Israel. I shall let them see that I have long ago come down upon a white cloud into the midst of mankind. Let them see the countless clouds of white and fruits and their abundant clusters, and what is more, let them see Jehovah, God of Israel. I shall let them look upon the master of the Jews, the longed-for Messiah, and the full appearance of me who have been persecuted by kings throughout the ages. I shall work upon the entire universe, and I shall perform great work, revealing all my glory and all my deeds to man in the last days. I shall show my glorious countenance in its fullness to those who have waited many years for me, to those who have longed for me to come upon a white cloud to Israel that has longed for me to appear once again, and to all mankind who persecute me, so that all will know that I have long ago taken away my glory and brought it to the east, so that it is no longer in Judea, for the last days have already come. Pastor Goo, it, it doesn't sound like there's anything wrong with that. No. Let's try again. The appearance of God refers to his personal arrival on earth to do his work, with his own identity and disposition, and in his inherent method. He descends among men to conduct the work of initiating an age and ending an age. This kind of appearance is not a form of ceremony. It is not a sign, a picture, a miracle, or a grand vision. And even less is it a kind of religious process. It is a real and actual fact that can be touched and be held. This kind of appearance is not for the sake of following a process or for the sake of a short-term undertaking. It is rather for the sake of a stage of work in his management plan. The appearance of God is always meaningful and is always connected to his management plan. This appearance is completely different from the appearance of God's guidance, leadership, and the enlightenment of man. God carries out a stage of great work each time he reveals himself. This work is different from that of any other age. It is unimaginable to man and has never been experienced by man. It is a work that starts a new age and concludes the old age. And it is a new and improved form of work for the salvation of mankind. Moreover, it is a work of bringing mankind into the new age. That is the significance of the appearance of God. These aren't words an average person could say. And there's no fault to be found with it. There's nothing wrong with it. That's right. These words sound really new. I've never heard them before. Yeah. I'll read. Come on. I don't believe that we can't find any fault. Many people may not care what I say. But I still want to tell every so-called saint who follows Jesus that when you see Jesus descend from the heaven upon a white cloud with your own eyes, 
This will be the public appearance of the Son of Righteousness. Perhaps that will be a time of great excitement for you. Yet you should know that the time when you witness Jesus descend from the heaven is also the time when you go down to hell to be punished. It will herald the end of God's management plan and will be when God rewards the good and punishes the wicked. For the judgment of God will have ended before man sees signs when there is only the expression of truth. Will have ended. Those who accept the truth and do not seek signs and thus have been purified shall have returned before the throne of God and entered the Creator's embrace. Only those who persist in the belief that Jesus, who does not ride upon a white cloud, is a false Christ, shall be subjected to everlasting punishment. For they only believe in the Jesus who exhibits signs, but do not acknowledge the Jesus who proclaims severe judgment and releases the true way of life. And so it can only be that Jesus deals with them when he openly returns upon a white cloud. They are too stubborn, too confident in themselves, too arrogant. How could such degenerates be rewarded by Jesus? Uh, why aren't you reading anymore? I really can't find anything to refute in these words. It's true. As I see it, what's said in this book is all correct. There aren't any problems. Yeah. These words truly are something that could not be spoken by an average person. No wonder so many people accept Eastern Lightning after reading this, and are bearing witness everywhere that the words of Almighty God are the voice of God, the expression of God. This is the source of it, after all. It seems that we must think of a way to limit our brothers and sisters reading the Eastern Lightning book. Then... then we must continue our research. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep reading. The return of Jesus is a great salvation for those who are capable of accepting the truth. But for those who are unable to accept the truth, it is a sign of condemnation. You should choose your own path, and you should not blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and reject the truth. You should not be an ignorant and arrogant person, but someone who obeys the guidance of the Holy Spirit and longs for and seeks the truth. Only in this way will you benefit. I advise you to tread the path of belief in God with care. Do not jump to conclusions. What's more, do not be casual and carefree in your belief in God. You should know that, at the very least, those who believe in God should be humble and reverential. Those who have heard the truth and yet turn their nose up at it are foolish and ignorant. Those who have heard the truth and yet carelessly jump to conclusions or condemn it are beset by arrogance. No one who believes in Jesus is qualified to curse or condemn others. You should all be someone who is rational and accepts the truth. Perhaps having heard the way of truth and read the word of life, you believe that only one in 10,000 of these words are in line with your convictions and the Bible. Then, then you should continue to seek in that 10,000th of these words I still advise you to be humble, 
to not be overconfident and to not exalt yourself too highly. With your heart holding such meager reverence for God, you will gain greater light. If you carefully examine and repeatedly contemplate these words, you shall understand whether or not they are the truth and whether or not they are life. Ah, uh, this is so true. Perhaps, having only read a few sentences, some people will blindly condemn these words, saying, this is nothing more than some enlightenment of the Holy Spirit. Or, this is a false Christ come to deceive people. Those who say such things are blinded by ignorance. You understand too little of the work and wisdom of God. And I advise you to start again from scratch. You must not blindly condemn the words expressed by God because of the appearance of false Christ during the last days and must not be someone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit because you fear deception. Would that not be a great pity? If, after much examination, you still believe that these words are not the truth, are not the way, and are not the expression of God, then you shall ultimately be punished and be without blessings. <clears throat> if you cannot accept such truth spoken so plainly and so clearly, then are you not unfit for God's salvation? Are you not someone who is not fortunate enough to return before the throne of God? Think about it. Do not be rash and impetuous, and do not treat belief in God as a game. Think for the sake of your destination, for the sake of your prospects, for the sake of your life, and do not play around with yourself. Can you accept these words? The words of Almighty God truly are formidable. They really are like a double-edged sword. Anyone who reads them has to be convinced. It seems that finding fault with the words of Almighty God is not a viable maneuver. I never thought that the words of Almighty God would be so powerful. No wonder so many people accepted Eastern Lightning after reading the words of Almighty God. I've also heard that. Not only are the people from Eastern Lightning spreading the word appears in the flesh by Almighty God, but they are also having people watch evangelical films. And it's not only that. They also have a channel of choral works, music videos, and all kinds of other videos. Yeah, it's true. A lot of brothers and sisters have started looking into it after watching Eastern Lightning movies. Just a couple of days ago, I confiscated a memory card from a brother. And there were Eastern Lightning movies on it. When I opened them up to see, what I saw was astonishing. What was it? In the movie, the truth that they shared in Fellowship was really clear. So, what all did they say? Yeah, tell us what they said. They dissected the truth about the CCP, the devil resisting God, and exposed the Pharisee-like essence of the resistance to God by the pastors and elders of the religious world, <laughs> and condemned that. All those pastors and elders who resist Almighty God are false shepherds and servants of evil. How can they say that? If the brothers and sisters watch these films, who will still listen to us? That's right. It could happen. Hmm. Of course. When that time comes, the consequences will be unthinkable. 
Then how should we rectify this? How can we keep our church alive? That's right. Think of a solution quickly. This really isn't easy to deal with. Resisting eastern lightning this way hasn't been very effective. Quite a few good sheep, head sheep, have been stolen by them. The Church of Almighty God has grown so quickly. And even though the CCP government has been arresting them, they haven't put a stop to them. What other recourse could we have? Can we stop them? We have to try. If we fail, we could work with the CCP. When we find people who are preaching Eastern Lightning, we can call the police. And the police can arrest them all. This way our church can be kept alive. You can't do that. When it comes to how to deal with Eastern Lightning, we should be very cautious. And we can't go overboard. If we take that path until the end, it will be problematic. Sister Han, how do you think this should be handled? Yes. Sister Han, take a seat and chat. You've been blocking brothers and sisters from accepting Eastern Lightning. And you always say that you're afraid that they will be duped. Doing things that way is not appropriate. Didn't the Lord Jesus say, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. With that, he was telling us that it is the sheep of the Lord who can hear and understand him. I'd say that we should take the word appears in the flesh expressed by Almighty God and allow our brothers and sisters to have a look at it. <clears throat> to see if these words really are the truth and if they are the voice of God. If Eastern Lightning really is the Lord Jesus' appearance and work, then we can meet the Lord. And if it's not true, then we've gained some discernment. Wouldn't that be wonderful? How can that be good? If we do what you've said, if we give the book the word appears in the flesh to everyone in the church, it would be awful. Wouldn't they all start to believe in Almighty God? Who would I be pastor to? I, wouldn't I just become a general without an army? Why don't you give some thought to me? You're afraid of being a general without an army. Aren't you afraid of resisting the Lord and going to hell? Look at you. Do you think you can be a pastor for the rest of your life? And if Eastern Lightning is the work of the appearance of the Lord, and you resist in this way, you will certainly be punished. You... Oh, Sister Han, the main point now is that the words of Eastern Lightning really are powerful. You say you want to let all brothers and sisters read the book, The Word Appears in the Flesh? Then our church will certainly have to close its door. In my view, we should listen to Pastor Gu. It can't be wrong. No matter what. Fine, fine. Go pour some water. Pastor Gu, Heather Wing, what should we do next? This is what we should do. Brothers and sisters, Eastern Lightning has rocked the entire religious world. There have been many good sheep from various denominations and sects who have come to believe in Eastern Lightning because they've read the book, The Word Appears in the Flesh. If we don't strictly seal off the church, and we allow everyone to look into Eastern Lightning and read the words of Almighty God, I fear most people will believe in Almighty God. Yeah. Yeah. Then won't the church collapse? Who will we shepherd? I have gathered everyone here today in order to think of a solution. To try to keep the church alive, protect our flock, and have our brothers and sisters thoroughly reject Eastern Lightning. Please speak up with any ideas or suggestions you may have. I actually have a solution. We all know the 528 Shandong Zhaoyang case. This case rocked the country. 
I downloaded a report of that case from the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP says these murderers were believers in the Church of Almighty God. So we should make full use of this case and create some other incidences to add in. The more frightening, the better. And we can create a booklet to distribute to our brothers and sisters and talk about it every gathering so that they all keep that in mind. As soon as they hear about Eastern Lightning, they'll be afraid. <laughs> we'll see who still dares to believe in Eastern Lightning. This is a good plan. Right now, there are people among non-believers in the religious world who believe the government's condemnation of Eastern Lightning. If we spread the cases we fabricate to various online forums, even if they're rumors, many people will believe it. They'll think it's true if there are many rumors. As it said, a lie will become the truth if it's repeated 10,000 times. Yes, we should have done this long ago. Right. I don't understand. It should have been that way. Pastor Gu, Brother Lu, I don't object to preserving the church, but utilizing a falsified and unjust case from the CCP to condemn Eastern Lightning, I disagree. The CCP is atheist. And they are a satanic regime that hates and resists God. Yes. Since this evil party has been in power, it has continued to brutally suppress religious beliefs. And in order to suppress house churches, they've not only arrested many Christians, but have ruined countless Christians' homes. Yes. And in particular, when they see a church spreading the gospel and bearing witness for God, they wantonly suppress it. These are facts that everyone can see. No matter what ethnic minority or religious group the CCP oppresses, first they manufacture public opinions, fabricate rumors, create false cases, and then they implement their crazy suppression. This is a textbook tactic. That really is true. That's right. Eastern Lightning witnessed that the Lord Jesus returned in China. Almighty God has appeared in the last days and is carrying out his work of judgment. This is not a simple matter. How could the CCP let go of Eastern Lightning? The party's resistance of God is 10 times, 100 times crueler than ancient Rome. When Christ of the last days appears in China, the party will certainly use its nationwide power to persecute. This is natural. That's certainly what the Chinese Communist government would do. Uh -huh. As for the 528 Shandong Zion case, there are too many holes. The government claims the murderers were believers in the Church of Almighty God. But when the court held a public trial, the murderers denied belonging to the Church of Almighty God. They said, I never had contact with the Church of Almighty God. Why would you say that the party would insist on labeling them as members of the Church of Almighty God? It's clear this was a ruse. Anyone with their eyes open can see this was certainly a rumor created by the government to openly repress Eastern Lightning. I agree with Sister Zheng's viewpoint. Pastor Gu, if you spread the Chinese Communist Party's rumors, isn't that complicit with the framing of the Church of the Almighty God? That would be bearing false witness, something condemned by God. One of God's commandments says, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. The government creates rumors and falsifies facts to build a case against Eastern Lightning. This is determined by its demonic nature of hating and resisting God. If you cooperate with the CCP and spread lies about Eastern Lightning, then this breaks the Lord's commandments. If Eastern Lightning really is the work of the Lord, then you too will resist God just like the Pharisees who resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus. That is a problem. Yes. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable sin in this life or in the afterlife. You know that. Who could take on that sin? That's right. It's really terrible. Pastor Gu, both of us have been imprisoned by the communist Chinese government because of our belief in the Lord. We saw through the evil essence of them long ago. I really can't understand how, 
how you can still stand on the side of the Chinese Communist Party by slandering the Church of Almighty God? Do you really understand the Church of Almighty God? How much of the Word of Almighty God have you read? You dare to recklessly resist and condemn Almighty God? If Eastern Lightning really is the work of the appearance of the Lord Jesus, you will suffer the unthinkable consequences of God's curse, just like the Pharisees. If it really is the return of the Lord, the consequences would be serious. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. The CCP is an evil atheist party. I know this in my heart. The party created rumors to slander the Church of Almighty God out of fear that the public will start to believe in God. But we're not like the CCP. We're different. We are making use of the 528 Shandong Xiaoyan case to resist Eastern Lightning, but only to protect the Church, to protect the flock. Yes. Our hands are tied. It's true. I haven't really looked into Eastern Lightning. I haven't read much of Almighty God's words. But the government and many religious leaders condemn Eastern Lightning. This is not a coincidence. It's just not possible that Eastern Lightning is the true way. Right. If Eastern Lightning is the work of the appearance of the Lord, and our resistance is a sin, then that sin is on me, not on our brothers and sisters. Why are those words like the voice of the Pharisees? That's right. How could Pastor Kuh say something like that? Eastern Lightning is stealing treasures from every sect and denomination. Many good sheep and leading sheep have been taken. I can't accept it. I cannot bear it. Otherwise, how else do we resist Eastern Lightning? Yes. To be honest, I'm not willing to casually condemn a religious group either. After all, I am a religious pastor. Pastor Gu, have you ever thought about this? The appearance of Eastern Lightning has shaken the entire religious world. It bears witness spectacularly to the return of the Lord Jesus, who is doing the work of judgment starting with the house of God. And it has been accepted by many good sheep from various denominations and sects. Do you think this is a simple thing? If Eastern Lightning doesn't possess the truth, if it doesn't have the work of the Holy Spirit, how could it conquer those who genuinely believe in God? The CCP, the pastors, and the elders of the religious world have suppressed Eastern Lightning so much. But why has the Church of Almighty God flourished, as if no force can hinder it? This question is worthy of our serious consideration. What Sister Wang said is very reasonable. Ah, Sister Fang, you sharing with us makes me think of what Gamaliel, the teacher of the law from the Bible, said. And now I say to you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to nothing. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against God. The government and leaders of various denominations are all crazily condemning the Church of Almighty God. But there are more people who accept Almighty God. Only that which is of God will prosper. I feel that Eastern Lightning comes from God. So when dealing with Eastern Lightning, we should be cautious and look to the Lord so that we do not resist God. This is not something to be trifled with. Yes. Sister Zhang, I don't like what you're saying. How could condemning Eastern Lightning be resisting God? I've heard from the CCP that Almighty God is just an average person. 
And even though he has uttered many words, he hasn't performed any miracles. So how could that be the work of God? It is only the Lord Jesus that is God in the flesh. He's the Christ. Yes. If the Lord Jesus were to return, it will be in the form of a Jewish person, and he would still be called the Lord Jesus. Amen. He wouldn't have a different name. So I dare say that the Almighty God that Eastern Lightning bears witness to is just a person and can't possibly be the appearance of God. Amen. Amen. You say the Almighty God that Eastern Lightning bears witness to is just a person. So why do so many say he is Christ and the appearance of God? And Almighty God has uttered so many words. As I see it, this really is not a simple matter. If Almighty God is just a person, or if he is Christ incarnate, I really can't make heads or tails of this. How can you not understand this? If Eastern Lightning really were the appearance of God, would they really be stealing sheep from every sect? Yes. yes. Some say the Lord will return like a thief and will steal treasures and good sheep. I think that's not possible. If he really had returned, we should have already been raptured. That's right. That's right. So, as I see it, Eastern Lightning is not the true way. Amen. The government, many pastors and elders in the religious world say the Church of Almighty God just believes in a person. And that can't be mistaken. So we can be sure that Eastern Lightning is heretical. And what we are condemning is a person and not God. What is there to fear in that? Neither Pastor Gu or Elder Wang has looked into Eastern Lightning. But they condemn it this way. It's not right. Pastor Gu, Elder Wang, you say the Church of Almighty God believes in just a person and not God in the flesh. But I think that saying is premature. These last few years, we have resisted Eastern Lightning along with the pastors and elders of the religious world. But to be frank, none of us has truly examined the work of Almighty God in the last days. Nor have we invited anyone from the Church of Almighty God to come to our church to bear witness to Almighty God. We've just listened to the government's frantic slandering of the Church of Almighty God. And casually accepted that the Church of Almighty God believes in just an average person. This is not entirely fair. When the Lord Jesus appeared and started working, wasn't it the case that the Pharisees didn't examine the words of the Lord Jesus? But they just blindly resisted and condemned him? And what was the result? They were all punished by God. As for whether Eastern Lightning Church actually believes in a person or in God in the flesh, we cannot just blindly pass judgment. We really should see if the words uttered by Almighty God really are the voice of God. This is critical. Yes, I agree with Brother Zen's viewpoint. We should read the words of Almighty God. That way we'll know if his words are the voice of God or not. Right, and that way we'll know how we should deal with Eastern Lightning. I think that what Brother Zen said makes sense. Making sense is one thing, but the pastors and elders are not allowing us to read the words of Almighty God. We don't need to take it so seriously. The pastors and elders all condemn Eastern Lightning. The words of Almighty God certainly are not the voice of God. They can't possibly come from God. As for how to deal with Eastern Lightning, we followed the pastors and elders in the religious world, but we've actually overlooked that Eastern Lightning really conforms to the prophecy of the Lord Jesus. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They dare to bear witness that Eastern Lightning is the appearance of the Lord Jesus, and they certainly have a basis for that. Since so many people bear witness to that, are they all idiots? Are they fools? Have they been bewitched? I don't think that's possible. And so many good sheep of the religious world have accepted it. They all understand the Bible. Thus, Eastern Lightning definitely possesses the work of the Holy Spirit, and the words of Almighty God possess the truth. This is certainly a reasonable thing to say. Pastor Gu, Elder Wang, 
since you haven't read much of Almighty God's words or truly looked into his work, how can you judge? Was not the Lord Jesus also a regular person? And why do so many believe in him now? It's because the Lord Jesus is God in the flesh. If Almighty God really is God incarnate, and you're condemning him, wouldn't it also be condemning God? The Pharisees made that mistake and were subject to God's curse. Brother Zen, you've said all of this with such certainty. Have you accepted Eastern Lightning? Put your cards on the table. Have you really accepted Eastern Lightning or not? To be honest, I haven't accepted Eastern Lightning. I'm looking into it now. If I'd really accepted Eastern Lightning, then I'd have to bear witness to Almighty God to all of you, right? That's called Charity Begins at Home. Brother Zen, aren't pastors and elders better judges than us? They, along with the CCP, all condemn Eastern Lightning now. Are they all wrong? If you've truly accepted Eastern Lightning, we're enemies. Oh, and so what if I have, hmm? That is my own freedom. What right do you have to restrict that, hmm? Freedom? If you've really accepted it, I'll report it to the police. Do you believe it or not? How could he say this? Report it? Do that, and you are a Pharisee, a treacherous Judas. Don't you know that? You... Hey, that's enough. Let it go. We are all brothers in the Lord. Besides, Brother Zen hasn't accepted it. If he had, then it'd be another matter. But since he hasn't, he's still our brother. Please sit down. That's, that's right. right. Calm, Calm down. down. Calm down. Have a seat. seat. No, everybody's got to yes, just understand. Stand. People, please, let's just not do this. Eastern Lightning bears witness that Almighty God is God incarnate. That's not in the Bible. Even if Eastern Lightning is the true way, I will not accept it. That's what I think. To tell the truth, I've heard people from the Church of Almighty God bear witness, and the truth they share is profound. But they can't steal our sheep. Yes. I object to them stealing our sheep, stealing away so many of our good sheep, our leading sheep. How could I not hate them? If they continue to do that, I'll call the police. I will. I'll do it. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. Must be done. There's no Is other this way. not to be Judas? Elder Wang, we don't accept it, then no matter. But calling the police to arrest and handing over believers in God to the CCP is doing evil. Right. How can they be united with the CCP? This defies God. Calm down. No matter what anyone says, Eastern Lightning has stolen many good sheep and leading sheep from our church. It's a fact. It's true. How couldn't I have a good understanding of what Eastern Lightning is? I've read the book, The Word Appears in the Flesh, but just one part of it. Those words really are reasonable, and they're not something that an average person could say. But the government has reported the Church of Almighty God believes in an ordinary person. They even mention some of his family background. I don't know if it is true or not. I admit, an average person couldn't possibly say such words of truth. But if it were really the appearance of God, not only would he express the truth, but he would also perform some great miracles. Only that would convince people. Amen. Amen. Currently, the religious world is acting according to the reports of the government, and they are spreading the government's propaganda condemning Eastern Lightning. This protects many people in the religious world. They have all rejected Eastern Lightning. Based on these facts, I am certain most religious people 
believe that the reports from the government are true. So I'm sure that Almighty God can't possibly be Christ of the last days. And he is merely an average person. Right. I have a basis for resisting and condemning Eastern Lightning this way. It can't be mistaken. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gu, what you're saying isn't right. Most of the pastors and elders of the religious world are adults over 40 or 50. Could it be they haven't had the experience of being persecuted? You yourself served 12 years in prison. How has the CCP condemned us? Have those words been true and legitimate? Could it be that you can't see that the CCP twists the truth in order to persecute religious belief? We're all victims, and we can't ignore our consciences. I am certain that everything the CCP says is false. They have ulterior motives. What Sister Zeng said is a great truth. It really is. For example, the government and the religious world are spreading rumors, saying Almighty God was born in Henan province. This is pure nonsense. Just a couple of days ago, I ran into some people from the Church of Almighty God at Sister Zhu's house. And they bore witness that Almighty God was born in northwestern China. And when in high school, quit school, and left his family. Going to house churches all over the place to preach, to speak, and work. That is the truth. So that's how it is. The CCP really does spout nonsense. Yes. All the comments online about Christ of the last days are just rumors and lies from thin air. And they're the result of dissemination by the CCP and spread by many people in the religious world. Yeah. They're not at all trustworthy. What the CCP says What's particularly saying, twists the truth. There's no basis for it. As Christians, if we can't see through the essence of the Chinese Communist Party, that would be foolish, and our faith in the Lord would be in vain. Yes, I agree. We all know that when the Lord Jesus appeared and began to work, of those who accepted him, no one did so based on what the Roman government or what the chief priests and scribes of the Jewish faith said. Those who listened to the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees could only reject the Lord Jesus and condemn him. Yes. True believers accepted and followed the Lord only based on his words and work. This is a fact. Mm. Now, as we seek and investigate the true way, we certainly can't listen to the government's lies. And we particularly can't base our opinion on the heresies of pastors and elders. The key to examining the true way is in listening to the voice of God. And that way we can tell if it's his work, his expression. Sister Zeng, Brother Zen, your fellowship is wonderful. There must be a basis for Eastern Lightning bearing witness to Almighty God. If Almighty God really is the appearance of Christ of the last days, we can't pass judgment. This is a grave matter. I think that when the Lord Jesus became flesh, appeared, and worked, from the outside he was really just a person. But he had the Holy Spirit within him acting as his life, and he spoke and worked governed by the Holy Spirit. Even though he was flesh on the outside, an average person, his essence was divine, and he possessed the work of the Holy Spirit. How can we judge this? Those Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees knew that the words and work of the Lord Jesus had authority and power, but they had absolutely would not accept him, and even concluded that Lord Jesus was a man. They said, is not this the carpenter's son? Is that not Jesus of Nazareth, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? And in the end, they charged the Lord Jesus as a blasphemer. And they nailed him onto the cross. This led to the disaster of Israel being wiped out in nearly 2,000 years of subjugation. This is a fact. Now, Eastern Lightning bears witness that Almighty God incarnate is Christ of the last days and the appearance of the Lord Jesus. We have neither sought nor investigated this. But we stood blindly on the side of the CCP and the Pharisees, condemning and blaspheming Almighty God. Isn't that committing the crime of nailing God to the cross again? The consequences for that are serious. Sister Shin, I don't like what you're saying. 
It was the Pharisees who crucified God. And only the Pharisees could do such a thing. Yeah. yeah. We believe in the Lord Jesus, and we absolutely could not nail him to the cross again. Besides, as for whether Almighty God really is Christ of the last days or not, and whether his words really are the voice of God, none of us know, right? Yes. 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 So regardless of how we resist Almighty God, it does not count as blasphemy, much less nailing him to the cross again. That's right. You're just associating things blindly. Could you possibly determine if Almighty God is Christ, if He is God? We really can't see through it. Yes, we can't be certain of it. Well, Brother Zen is currently investigating Eastern Lightning, and whether it's the work of the appearance of the Lord, he should be able to explain it clearly. I'll share a bit of my understanding. Whether Almighty God is Christ, and whether He is God in the flesh Himself, cannot be determined based on His appearance. Whether He can express the truth and the voice of God, whether He can do God's work, is the key thing. It is. Hey. I'll read a portion of the words of Almighty God so that everyone can understand. Almighty God says, he who is God's incarnation shall hold the substance of God, and he who is God's incarnation shall hold the expression of God. Since God becomes flesh, he shall bring forth the work he must do. And since God becomes flesh, he shall express what he is, and shall be able to bring the truth to man, bestow life upon man, and show man the way. Flesh that does not contain the substance of God is surely not the incarnate God. Of this there is no doubt. To investigate whether it is God's incarnate flesh, man must determine this from the disposition he expresses and the words he speaks. Which is to say, whether or not it is God's incarnate flesh, and whether or not it is the true way, must be judged from his substance. And so, in determining whether it is the flesh of God incarnate, the key is to pay attention to his substance, his work, his words, his disposition, and many more, rather than his external appearance. These words are wonderful. This is the path to understanding God incarnate. Ah, this really is very well said. It is. Reading the words of Almighty God makes me think of when the Lord Jesus appeared and worked. Even though he looked like an ordinary, normal person on the outside, and he was born into a family, had parents, and normal humanity, he was able to express the truth and could do God's work of redemption. That's something nobody could do. That fully proves that the Lord Jesus was Christ, God incarnate himself. Yes. So if Almighty God is able to express many truths and the voice of God, if he can express all of the truths of God's judgment of mankind in the last days and do the work of saving mankind, then would you say that he is Christ, that he is God? That is certain. Yes. So when we examine the true way to determine if God has become flesh, we can't be restricted by his normal humanity. And we definitely can't judge and say someone with normal humanity can't be God incarnate. First and foremost, we must base it on whether or not the words expressed are the truth and whether they are the voice of God 
and his work in the last days. Only by examining the true way like this can we come to a correct That's conclusion. Right. If we just see that Almighty God possesses average, normal humanity on the outside and determine that he is not God incarnate, wouldn't that be making the same mistake as the Pharisees condemning the Lord Jesus? Wouldn't you say so? Yes. Brother Sen, your insight really is wonderful. If you'd said that before, I would have looked into Eastern Lightning a long time ago. What you shared with us today truly is the illumination of the Holy Spirit. If we investigate Eastern Lightning based on the words of Almighty God, we certainly can't go wrong. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Pastor Gu and Elder Wang have said so much. Is it possible that you didn't understand, huh? Right. You're going to look into Eastern Lightning just based on this passage of Almighty God's words that Brother Zen read? Can that determine if he is Christ of the last days? Do you really not have a stance? Do you really not have your own opinion? Right, you really don't have your own stance. Brother Lu, if we want to determine if Almighty God is Christ of the last days, but don't read his words, is there another way? I've read quite a few of his words recently, and I have discovered that they are all truth. Some words reveal the rebellious nature of humans and the truth of our corruption which is convincing for people. There are some words of God comforting and exhorting mankind, allowing people to experience that God is full of mercy and love. There are some words that reveal the mysteries of God's management plan for saving mankind. For example, what the purpose of God's 6,000 year management plan is why he allowed Satan to corrupt mankind, how he saves mankind step by step, how we should seek to gain God's praise to enter the kingdom of heaven, what kind of person God saves and perfects, and what kind of person he eliminates and destroys, the outcome and final destination of every kind of person, and so on. Almighty God has expressed all the truths that people should understand and enter into as believers in God. My feeling is that this fulfills the prophecy of the Lord Jesus. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Yes, this is based on the Bible. Yes, indeed. So, I have proof in my heart that Almighty God is the appearance of the Lord Jesus, and He is Christ of the last days. I suggest that you look into it as soon as possible, and don't condemn Eastern Lightning along with the government and religious world. Otherwise, you'll miss the opportunity to be raptured into the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. Brother Zen, you've put a lot of effort into the words of Almighty God. What I am thinking is that Christ is the truth. And if Almighty God is able to express the truths that the believers in God need to understand and enter into, then he must be God and he is Christ incarnate. Yes, right. If we go along with the government and the pastors and elders of the religious world and say Almighty God is just an average person, definitely not Christ, wouldn't that be denying and blaspheming God along with Satan? Yes. yes. That is an extremely serious matter. That's right, it really is. Yes. We should look into Eastern Lightning as soon as possible. Yeah. No matter how much truth Almighty God has expressed, or how great His work is, if He is not the Lord Jesus descending on a cloud, we can't accept Him. Amen. Amen. In other words, even if Eastern Lightning is the true way, I won't accept it. Our belief in the Lord is based on the Bible, and that cannot be an error. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gu, Elder Wang, it would be best if you don't speak so conclusively. You should leave a little wiggle room. Yeah, yeah. There are many who have accepted Almighty God, and they've all carried out serious examination and determined His words are the truth in God's voice, and only then have dared to openly bear witness that way. If Almighty God's words weren't the truth, would people bear witness? It's, it's true. true. You're saying even if Eastern Lightning is the true way, you will reject it. Retract those words. 
Their witness of Almighty God has reached a peak, and his words are all clear and understandable, yet you still resist it. I fear this will incite God's wrath. Yes. 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 We should first look into and clarify this. The consequences of inciting God's wrath are serious. That's right. That's we should right. Look into it. We should look into it. Pastor Gu, Elder Wang, you should do some introspection. What is the difference between your reckless resistance and condemnation of Eastern Lightning and the resistance and condemnation that the Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees had of the Lord Jesus? You... <clears throat> Back then, the Pharisees didn't pay any mind to how much truth the Lord Jesus had expressed, how profound his sermons were, or how many miracles he performed. They did not acknowledge that the Lord Jesus was God. And they even nailed him to the cross, along with the Roman government. As a result... Israel was subjugated for nearly 2,000 years. Yes. Those Pharisees who resisted God suffered the condemnation and curse of the Lord Jesus. You serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? Why, behold, I send to you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify. And some of them shall you whip in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth. The words of the Lord Jesus, they were fulfilled. Think about what a great calamity the Pharisees' condemnation of the Lord Jesus brought to Israel. If you are now determined to follow the government and the pastors and elders of the religious world and continuing to resist and condemn Eastern Lightning. I think this is dangerous. Isn't this nailing God to the cross again? Who could bear the consequences of that? Shenmudo, you... Listen. Eastern Lightning has stolen many of our good sheep. Doesn't that make you mad? Yes. yes. Our church is on the verge of collapse. Can't you see that? Oh, your words! How can your words be so treacherous? Yes. Don't forget that what we eat and drink is from the mercy of our God, and we cannot betray Him. Yeah. yeah. Also, we are united with the government in resisting and condemning Eastern Lightning. Hence, we defend our position and protect our flock. Amen. Amen. How could you connect that to the Pharisees nailing Jesus to the cross? Amen. Pastor Gu is right. In other matters, we can draw a line between us and the government. But just on the matter of condemning Eastern Lightning, we must fight on the same front. Amen. Amen. That's right. Our belief in the Lord is based on the Bible, and there is no witness to Eastern Lightning in the Bible. And there's particularly no witness that the return of the Lord Jesus is Almighty God, so not accepting Almighty God is entirely within reason. Right. No matter how much we resist and condemn Eastern Lightning, the Lord will not condemn us. That is because the Lord is mercy and love, and the ignorant are without fault. Amen. 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 That's a fallacy. In addition, everything we're doing is to protect the flock and the church. And I think this is entirely faithful to the Lord. Amen. Amen. As for Eastern Lightning, I must resist it. No matter who among you accepts it, I will not. Neither will, Neither will I. I. We must fully cooperate with the government in resisting Eastern Lightning to keep the church alive. Only by arresting the people from the Church of Almighty God can we resolve the problem of Eastern Lightning stealing sheep from its root. Amen. Anyone who discovers someone preaching for Eastern Lightning must immediately report it, either to us or to the police. Only that is a faithful servant to the Lord. Amen. 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 That's, that's what we should, should do. We should do. I'm in agreement. The only way we can do that is to get them arrested. That is the best I mean, way. That's the only way that's going to keep the yes. Church alive. I agree. But we can't, we can't resolve this. The cases we fabricated have already been published online. Yes. We'll see who dares to accept Eastern Lightning. Hello? Hello, Pastor Goo? Hmm? Brother
Brother Shen is preaching to our brothers and sisters along with witnesses from the Church of Almighty God. What did you say? Get over here as soon as you can. Okay. We've come up with so many solutions, but we can't stop everyone from accepting Eastern Lightning. It seems the CCP's propaganda isn't very useful. Pastor Gu, what else can we do now? The only thing to do now is to tell everyone in the church that if they find anyone from Eastern Lightning stealing our sheep, they should call the police. Goo. I've taken some people out. Turn left here. Mm, good. We're about to get to the gathering at Sister Kang's house. Don't worry, Pastor Goo. The people who are preaching Eastern Lightning won't have anywhere to run. You need to hurry up. You absolutely can't let them get away. Sir, could you possibly go any faster? A, a car! <laughs> <laughs> going to arrest witnesses from Eastern Lightning Church today. And on his way, he got into an accident and died. Oh Lord, why did this happen? Ever since I started resisting and condemning Eastern Lightning, it seems I have been abandoned by you and I live in fear every single day. Lord, could it be that Eastern Lightning truly is the work of your appearance? Lord, why do you not enlighten me? If Eastern Lightning truly is the work of your appearance, then woe and woe to me. Oh, Lord, I beg you to forgive me, to pardon me. Don't you have eyes? You trying to get killed? Brothers and sisters, let's open up the Bible to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 13. Pastor Gu, you really are deceitful. You ruined us. You clearly know that Eastern Lightning is the true way, but you won't allow us to seek it. 
Our lives have been destroyed by you. Yes, yes it's you have destroyed you our lives. Our lives. It's you who destroyed our lives. You worked with the CCP to get people from the Church of Almighty God arrested. You're a treacherous Judas. That's yes, right. It's true. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. It's yeah. true. You wildly resist and condemn right. Almighty God. Yeah. You are nailing God to the cross again. It's true. It's him. Be ashamed. It's him. Ashamed. It's him. It's him. It's him. Blood debt. Blood debt. Blood debt. Yes. He's it's a him. <laughs> Crucify God! <laughs> Xu Chen, it's time to eat. Xu Cheng, what's been going on with you lately? Women, tell me, is condemning Almighty God really kneeling God to the cross again? Tell me. I've told you not to condemn Almighty God any longer, but you won't listen.
so righteously no matter your age no matter how senior you are or suffering you've endured his disposition stays forever unchanged righteous in the face of these things Does not favor anyone, but cares if man accepts. His truth and new work, casting aside all other things. Except his new work, receive the truth he gives. Then you can gain the salvation.